I decided to build a bridge just out of these wooden sticks and some stain. The reason I need the bridge is because I have a reversing loop with a higher elevation and the grade is in place but I have this spot here that needs a bridge. So I thought I'd scrap build one and uh, so I got those wooden sticks and the thing I found with the wood, under, and those that do a lot of work with wood understand this, that if you glue the wood together and then try to stain it, glue doesn't take stain. And so you can see where the glue is. But if you glue it first, uh, stain it, excuse me, if you stain it first and then glue it, uh, the glue dries invisible and you can't see it. So I put down some wax paper and I got... Uh, piece of wood here that's straight that's the length that I need it so I cut the wood to fit and uh, then I'm gluing two sections together to build the base for the decking to go on so it's the full length of the, it's about 12 inches or 160 scale feet so with a little bit of glue on it I then uh, glue the uh, decking in place so there it is with the, the decking and then I put another strip down that to kind of reinforce it. So now the deck fits across where the bridge is going to be. And then I'm uh, marking where I need to put the bridge supports in. And there's the biggest section there. And then these other spots are where I'll put the other smaller pieces to, to fit in right there and uh, of course that'll all get filled in as I build the landscaping. So I put a toothpick in place and then drew some lines on where the top and the bottom of the uh, support would need to be. So put it about where the mark is and then on the bottom of it mark the bottom. So then I'll measure that distance and mark it down for the next one. There's two, there's the cement thing, and then I'll have to build the other bracing, the length of this between these two marks. And the next two should be able to take toothpicks. And then I do the same thing on the other side. So then I get the tape, I get some painter's tape, and I stick it to the wax paper, marked off the distances, have the uh, angles cut, and then I'll just glue all this down into place. my first and then put another layer over the top of it and the first piece will be put into place like so and then when it's finished I put it up in place and so there's one side done and I gotta do the other side and I squared it up with my square made sure everything was uh, square and lined up and then I put the bracings across and as more and more of these wood braces get glued in there the stronger and stronger the structure became. And then I cut some foam I'll paint it for the cement cut a notch out of it one for the higher place and one for the part where I need the support for the span across the tracks that needs to be there and to do that I gotta build another section of wood to go underneath it but here I have the two different heights there that I'm gonna need for that so now there's a span for the road and the reversing loop And I wanted a clearance test, so I got my 
queen of steam and put it underneath where the bridge would need to go so I have built these I got them two sticks thick and I got them like bricks where the difference the joints are staggered and then I've got the cross beam going down on one side and then on the other side I ran it the other way so I've got my X to support and hold the thing up so this is the last piece I need to put together and glue on the bottom of the bridge to give it the support to hold the weight of the trains as they go over and then it's in place the next thing I need to do is paint cement colors on my foam and that'll be completed but so here we go with final assembly so a little bit of glue on some support things on my cement parts and since the bridge is now in the expanse that it needs I just uh, put it into place glue it to hold and of course we do the other side and then square everything up put a bead of glue across the top of that and then drop the rest of the structure in place put some weight on it to hold it down and my wife says I don't think it's gonna hold the train but here we go. It's the same thing, but in miniature. So here's the finished looking bridge. And since I pre-checked it, I know my uh, steam locomotive will fit underneath it. I know it's tight clearance, so it's just going to be lower profile things. So I'm leaning towards an eastern railroad line than a western railroad line. I now have a scratch built bridge to go across using just some small sticks and some stain and wood glue so it's a fairly inexpensive project but uh, for my first attempt at scratch building something I feel pretty good about this so of course we've got to test it out and run a train over it and the practice train looks good till next time keep on keeping on